Warning, this video contains strong language and profanity. It may not be suitable for children and sensitive adults. Wah. What is up, my fellow vape heads? B-Man Vapor back again with another review. Uh, in this review, we're going to be checking out another RDA. Uh, this is another one that comes from Vandy Vape and Tony B. Uh, we're going to be checking out the Pulse X RDA. Looking beautiful, sitting on top of the Pulse Dual mod. Um, this RDA has got a pretty unique build deck. Um, uh, the build deck is kind of in the shape of an X, hence the name Pulse X. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty interesting. I would not suggest this RDA to a newbie vapor because uh, the build deck kind of takes some thought and um, you know a little bit of tinkering to get your coils just right. Um, you'll see that in the up and close. I'll show you uh, what's up with that. But um, but yeah, for the uh, veteran builder, uh, this is a uh, awesome RDA to have um, if uh, you like RDAs to tinker around with. Um, it's a great flavor RDA. Now this RDA will produce the clouds, but um, in my opinion, this is more of a flavor RDA. Um, <clears throat> it's got the, uh, the kind of honeycomb airflow on the sides. You got uh, six holes on both sides. Um, pretty thick uh, air control cap on here. You'll see all that in the up and close. But yeah, it's a pretty great RDA. Another, uh, another uh, design from Tony B. So, uh, so yeah, let's take this sucker for a rip. Um, vaping on today some strawberry peanut butter and jelly from Jam Monster. Uh, it's a limited edition juice. Don't know how long this will be out. It's some fucking great shit. I hope they uh, continue to make this. Uh, there's your warning right there for whoever needs to see that shit. But uh, peanut butter and jelly, uh, strawberry peanut butter and jelly jam monster. This shit is delicious. Um, got a couple of the norm in here. A couple five wrap aliens on a three millimeter rod. Omen out to a point. Uh, these ones came out to a point one three. Uh, we're set at 75 watts. Let's rip it. Mmm. And the flavor off this RDA, man, I'm telling you what. As you can see, putting out just nicely. Uh, it is a delicious, delicious vape. Um, you would love this RDA uh, if you had one. Definitely suggest checking this one out. Um, this this RDA is specifically designed for squonking. Now it does come with an extra 510 pin. If you don't want to squonk this, you can put it on a regulated or uh, uh, any kind of other mod and drip if you uh, so choose. Um, but uh, this RDA is designed for squonking. It's got this kind of uh, top kind of um, spigots that come off the top that kind of uh, cascade your juice over the top of your coils. Pretty interesting uh, design. I believe um, there's another RDA out, the Layer Cake, I think is uh, another one that kind of does that. But uh, this one is beautifully designed here. So anyway, enough chit chat. Let's uh, let's jump in the up and close. Let's have a look at her. Uh, I'll show you the packaging, everything it comes with, and uh, we'll talk about that interesting build deck. Uh, pretty pretty freaking unique, uh, must say. Um, so yeah, let's jump down. Let's have a look at it. And we'll come back. Talk pros, cons, price, every fucking thing else that you need to know. Let's jump down there. Oh fucking Rizite, so here it is. Here's the Pulse X RDA. This is the package it comes in. A uh, pretty typical sleeve situation going on here. Uh, on the front it does say Vandy Vape, full steams ahead right here. And then right here it says Pulse X RDA, a Tony B project. Down here at the bottom is Vandy Vape's website. You can go uh, check out uh, their products and all that good shit. On this side it talks about that website. To learn more about our products, visit vandyvape.com and all that. You can read that if you want to. 
And then on this side is the uh, quality control and all that good shit. And here's your scratch and sift. So you can scratch it off, go online, make sure you didn't get fucked when you bought this. Make sure it is the authentic product. On the back, it shows a little bit of uh, what the RDA consists of, uh, how it works. It is a top squonking action. Uh, it's got these kind of waterfall kind of... Uh, uh, or these uh, kind of spigots that come off the top and it squawks over the top of your coils. We'll talk more about that uh, just in a little bit. Uh, you can put vertical or horizontal builds in this RDA. Uh, we'll talk more about that here in just a moment. Uh, if you want to read any of that, you can take a look. Kind of tells you a little bit what I just said. Vertical, horizontal builds. Uh, stainless cap and it does have a PC cap that comes with this which is pretty fucking interesting right there kind of shows a picture of uh, how this RDA works you know the juice kind of comes up the middle and kind of comes out these top spigots uh, right over the top of your coils pretty fucking ingenious design if you ask me so let's pop this bad boy open see what we got and when you pop it open, you are greeted with your beautiful Pulse X RDA, and right there is that PC cap. Um, it's a PC kind of plastic, which is a kind of heat resistant. Now, if you get this too hot, you can melt this cap, so uh, just kind of be careful with the size of builds that you have in this uh, when you use this cap. Here is the beautiful Pulse X RDA. Now this is the complete murdered out uh, version, the black version. Uh, it will come with a red drip tip. You can get this RDA in a ton of different colors. So let's pop this bad boy out right quick. And we'll pop this PC cap out, set that aside. Let's pull out this uh, foam, see what uh, what it contains, uh, what extras we get. You will get a pair of uh, triple fuse clappings right here. Right there's the specs on those if you want to take a look at that. I don't ever use ch uh, cheap china coils. I mean, I do use china coils, but not these cheap ass ones that come with the mod. Um, they're just uh, not good quality. I mean, you can use them if you want. That's completely up to you. Uh, you get a bag of spares. You get the uh, the Allen key, which is for removing your squonk pin. Now, this is a squonking RDA as what it was designed for, but you can use this as a dripper if you want. It does come with an extra 510 pin right there uh, that you can stick in if you want to take out your uh, squonk pin and uh, use this as a dripper. Uh, of course, you'll get a 510 adapter for your drip tip. You get a bunch of O-rings in there. Uh, you get a set of extra grub nuts now these grub nuts that are extra are flat heads uh, the ones that are pre-installed are Phillips heads you get old trusty blue in there of course and uh, that's about it as far as the spares go set that aside you will get a manual with this which uh, is one of these uh, kind of fold out situations with uh, fucking every language known to man in here so uh, we're not going to get into that at all but yeah, that is the Sperry's that comes with this. Let's put this shit aside right here and let's get to the uh, get to the star of the show. Now here is the Pulse X RDA. She is a fucking beautiful RDA, I must say. I love, love the aesthetics of this RDA. Uh, Tony B designed some, uh, some nice products, I must say. I uh, wasn't too fond of the uh the pulse one rda it was a great rda worked great but i uh, just wasn't uh wasn't a big huge fan of it now the pulse two rda uh this one is uh badass and here is the x so these are the three rdas not three i've got the uh let's see here here's the pulse one there's the pulse one rda there's the pulse two rda and now we have the pulse x which is pretty fucking nice. Those are the three RDAs that Tony has designed. Now with the Pulse X RDA, it does have this kind of honeycomb uh, situation as far as your air goes, which is uh, real fucking nice. Now this RDA is nice and thick, I must say. It is made of quality. Um, you know, Vandy Vape uh, does make good quality RDAs, I must say. Uh, they, the steel that they use or aluminum that they use is uh, pretty solid. Uh, it does at the top, well, you go from the top and work our way down. On the top, uh, it does have an 810 drip tip. Got the O-ring on the inside, which we love to see. 
um, that way you can fit pretty much any 810 drip tip that you have. Some might not fit, but for the most part, every 810 drip tip ought to fit in here. On the top, you got do have some kind of knurling around here. These little cutouts, kind of uh, kind of the same situation as the Pulse 2. It's got these kind of uh, these kind of grooves on the top. Uh, this one kind of has the same thing, but they are designed just a little bit different. They're not as deep as the ones on the Pulse 2, but uh, they are nice and grippy. You can get a good grip to uh, adjust your airflow. Let's pop the airflow off. Now, as you can see, it's got this thick, thick, nice aluminum uh, thing here for your uh, for your airflow, your airflow control. Uh, it is pretty, uh, pretty fucking solid, I must say. So uh, you are kind of limited to the uh, thickness of coils that you can put in here, but you can put some decent coils in here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put a coil in here any bigger than a three millimeter. Just my opinion. Now you can go 3.5 if you want, but you might not be able to put as many wraps because it will touch this ring and you'll get shorting and all that type of shit. As you can see on the inside of here, it does have that kind of domed conical design that's fucking for flavor. This is a decent flavor chucking RDA. Now, the, in my opinion, this RDA is not for the cloud chaser. This is more for the flavor chaser. It's got a nice uh, O-ring on the inside there. Now, I will say when you first get this, these O-rings are stiff as fuck. Uh, they do take some juicing up to, uh, to kind of loosen up. So yeah, that is how you uh, how you cut your airflow down. As you see, you turn it, it'll be the same on both sides. You can cut it, it is from the top down. You can cut off the top of the airflow, and then you know, if you keep spinning it, you can have just the top row open and the bottom closed. Or if you go back this way, you can have just the top closed and the bottom open. Pretty kick-ass design there, uh, how he did that. I do, uh, I do like that, and I believe... Let me see if I keep spinning it here. Uh, trying to see if, no, there is no single coil. I don't believe, no, no single coil on this. So this is just a, uh, strictly a dual coil design. But anyway, let's pop this on the mod and let's, uh, let's take her apart and take a look inside the barrel. Ugh. Now, like I said, this is a stiff son of a bitch when you first get it. As you can see inside the barrel, uh, it is pretty nice and machined. It does have these cutouts on the inside here, so it will catch on the deck. So when you screw it on, you got to pop it down inside those uh, two grooves that come out. Um, and uh, that way uh, you won't spin your RDA every time you're adjusting your airflow or uh, any of that shit. And you can unscrew it pretty easily. But yeah, that is, as you can see, it's nice and thick. Pretty good machining here. Bandy Vape always does a damn good job with their machining, I must say. So let's set the top cap aside. Let's have a look at this deck. Well, before we even look at the deck, let's take a look at the bottom of the RDA, and then we'll talk about the deck. On the bottom of the RDA, it will say Pulse X on the top here. I don't know if you can see that, if it's coming in worth a damn. It says Pulse X on the top there. You got your quality control uh, numbers on the side. Um, and then there is your Vandy Vape number, the uh, the number of the R RDA. The, um, oh shit, I can't never think of the damn number. Uh, anyway, uh, down here on the bottom it says the Tony B Project, manufactured by Vandy Vape, designed by Tony B. Pretty fucking nice, pretty nice. And uh, there is your 510 pin, as you can see it is protruding beautifully. We got a little bit of peak insulator kind of sticking out there, that way uh, you can use this on any hybrid mechanical mod if you so choose. But like I said, this mod, or this RDA is specifically designed, designed for squonking. Now you can drip it if you want, but uh, I would definitely recommend using this for squonking. Now here is the deck. It's pretty interesting uh, deck that we have on here. Uh, quite different from the uh, the Pulse, um, the Pulse RDAs. Uh, it's got this kind of uh, I don't know what you would call this kind of an X. That's why it's called the Pulse X because it kind of has this X shape uh, deck on here. It is a raised up kind of deck. Um, it, uh, this de this uh, RDA here definitely is not for a newbie builder. 
I uh, would not suggest that because uh, it does take some uh, some thought processing to build this. Uh, it's pretty easy to build, but it does take a little bit of finesse to get your coils in there nice and proper and uh, to get them working uh, working good. But uh, but yeah, for you uh, veterans out there, this would be this would be a nice RDA to tinker around with, uh, and, and it works fucking amazing, I must say. As you can see on the top here, this is where your uh, little, um, I guess you could say, uh, spigots, uh, your little shower heads, uh, as you will. Uh, that is uh, when you you know you put your coils in. You know, even if you do it horizontal or vertical, it doesn't matter. This will uh, spew out right over the top of your coils beautifully, no matter which way you build them, and uh, it, it's just fucking great. Normally, when I'm doing a review, I just keep my coils in, but I took my coils out of this one so I can just show you the uniqueness of this. Uh, it is just, uh, just fucking amazing. Great fucking design, great design. Pretty deep juice well down here. I believe it is a 5 mils uh, deep, so uh, definitely it can hold the juice. So yeah, that is the Pulse XRDA. Pretty fucking nice, I must say. Uh, it is a great RDA to have in the collection. And if you have a Pulse Dual Squonk Mod or a Pulse Squonk Mod or the... Uh, this uh, RDA even comes with its own kit. You can get the Pulse X RDA, which is the same damn thing as the, uh, the Pulse Regulated Mod. Pretty much the same thing. It just it's uh, has a little bit different design on it. The uh, the the doors and everything. It's it's the same design as this. Same shape. Um, it just uh, the way the panels are. They're just a little bit different. But it's the same same philosophy. Uh, this RDA will come with the Pulse X uh, Squonk mod. I might uh, might get me one in the near future to go with this. But this RDA works great on the Pulse Dual. But anyway, yeah, that is the Pulse X RDA. Oh, now, uh, real quick, talk about this uh, PC cap. I almost forgot about you. Uh, this PC cap is a, uh, a specific airflow. You cannot adjust the airflow with this. It just, it is what it is. It has this angled down kind of airflow. Let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12. There is 12 holes. Oop, drop it and lose the motherfucker. Uh, there is 12 holes on both sides, so 24 holes in all. And uh, this right here is a uh, uh, this right here is a good uh, cap for chucking some clouds, uh, and it works. It works quite nice. I'm not gonna put it on all the way on here because it is a bitch to get back off unless it's heated up or has juice. But yeah, it's just kind of a different look. Uh, looks nice on there. Um, if you like that kind of uh, clear frosted kind of look, this might be the cap for you. But uh, I just prefer using the uh, the cap that came with it. Now, when you go to stick this on, you do want to kind of stick it uh, a little askew. You know, you got to line up your pin right here with the uh, the grooves on the inside. So kind of stick it on a little bit to the you know a little bit uh you know off. Put it on and then twist it till it pops in. Bam, just like that, and it'll pop in. I do believe it looks fucking beautiful sitting on top of the uh, the Pulse Dual Mod, and it definitely is a beaut. Uh, on the up and or, uh, when we go up top, I will after I get some coils and some cotton in here, I'll show you a little bit of that squonking action and how that works and all that good shit. So yeah, that is the Pulse X RDA uh, from Vandy Vape, and, uh, designed by Tony B. Let's take it back up top. And we'll talk pros, cons, price, all the other fucking hoo-ha. Oh, damn, my fucking cursor wasn't even on the damn fucking stop button. All right, let's take it up top now. <laughs> so there you have it. There is the Pulse X RDA. That's everything it comes with. And as you can see, it is pretty fucking nice, man. Um, the design of this RDA, I must say, man, Tony B fucking killed it on this one, man. He, he just straight knocked this motherfucker out the park. Uh, this RDA is delicious. Um, 
it, it is a fucking flavor uh, chasing RDA like uh, you wouldn't believe. Um, love, love, love how he has designed, you know, the squonking action on this, how it fucking comes down from the top. I mean, genius fucking idea. There is another RDA out that does this, maybe a couple RDAs, but the only other one I know of, I believe, is the layer cake. But um, uh, this one right here, I do not believe any other RDA squonks as good as this one. It is just a uh, beautiful fucking design. Um, yeah, and it is a fucking tasty vape. Mmm, man, cannot get enough of it. Cannot get enough. Now, I said I told you I would show you how exactly this squonks. Now, here's how I have my coils. I've got just a regular uh, build in here. Um, just a regular horizontal build now you can put your coils in here vertically straight up and down if you want I just don't do that because I hate fucking wicken uh, Coils like that they're a pain in the fucking ass. So I just do them like this now. You've got to make sure uh, Your coils are in just enough. So this uh, that airflow uh, Control inside here does not touch them. It's pretty thick you know, I kind of wish uh, this cap, what the uh, the air control wasn't as thick, so you could, you know, kind of have a little bit more room to play with. But um, a three millimeter build is about as big as you can put in this. Um, now you may be able to put a bigger, but you could, uh, you know, you got to lower your wraps, and uh, it's just a pain in the ass. So a three millimeter is about as high as I have. Uh, you know, I've tried a 3.5, but it just does not fit. You, you're constantly hitting this cap inside here, and, uh, you know, you can get shorting and any of that type of shit. But anyway, check out how this squonks. Now, I don't know how good it's going to come in here. Now, when you hit your squonk, as you can see, the juice dumps right out of the top, right over the top of your coils, and look at that my coils and cotton is soaked and i just barely hit that one time and uh it, it sucked up all of that juice fucking putting out just fucking right pop this cap on now like i said when you're putting your cap back on you do want to kind of do it a little bit of skew you know from that uh clip inside here from in uh, from the pin that way when you put it down you can turn it and, it and pop it down on there so you want to kind of put it a little bit of skew and then twist it and it'll pop right down so you want to be pushing down as you twist it and it'll pop right into place but yeah, yeah, man, pros with this RDA all across the board, man. The flavor is great. The aesthetics of this RDA is fucking amazing. I love, love, love how he designed this. It is uh, a beautiful, it's a little bit on the shorter side than uh, most RDAs. Uh, just a tad bit shorter than other RDAs. But I believe he did that so it would produce great flavor. And uh, the way he's designed the build deck, you know, he kind of had to shorten the cap up just a tiny bit. But it is still fucking uh, beautiful. Um, yeah, man. Pros, pros all day long. The, the airflow is perfect. You know, you can have, it's got a pretty decent airy draw, a little tiny bit restricted, you know, a full open, but it does have a, a perfect airy draw, in my opinion. Now you can cut your air down. Now here is just the bottom row open. In my opinion, I like to keep it wide open because it does get hot. This is a thick, uh, it does have a thick cap on it. So, you know, the more aluminum and the, the thicker the RDA, I mean, the cap is, um, you know, the warmer it's going to get. Especially the bigger coils you have in here, the hotter it's going to get. And depending on wattage, too. But I keep this sucker at 75 watts, and uh, it, it puts out nicely. Now, I see other reviewers all the time when they, you know, do their reviews of, uh, you know, RDAs and stuff. They're up in the 100 watts and shit. In, in my opinion, you don't need that much watts. But, I mean, if you like a hot vape, I guess there you go. But uh, I keep my wattage anywhere between 75 and 80 watts. I really do not go any higher than 80, um, and it, it's a beautiful vape.
Now cons with this, I will say one con is that air control. You know, I do believe he made that a little bit too thick. You know, maybe if it was uh, just a little bit thinner, um, you know, you could play around with your coils a little bit more. But it is kind of a bitch to get your coils just right in there so they're not touching that air control sleeve. Um, but, but yeah, that's got to be a con in my opinion. Um, let's see if I can think of any other cons. Um, there is no single coil option on this cap, I do not believe. Let me spin it around before I uh, toot my own horn here. Um, side all the way. Yeah, there, there is no single coil option on this. Um, that's got to be a con. You know, some people would want to, uh, you know, do this with a single coil. But then again, you know, you got those two... Um, spigots on the top so you know I guess it is uh, it would be kind of hard to work with a single coil in here because you'd have juice just pouring down one side not hitting nothing and then you know of course your other side would hit so maybe you would get you know over spunking and whatnot so you know I kind of can see why um, it, it's just a dual coil um, yeah man um, can't really think of any other cons it does get hot this is an RDA that will get super hot, you know, depending on your wattage and whatnot. Um, like I said, I keep mine at 75, and it is a warm, warm vape. Um, with as thick as that air control is, uh, it, it gets hot super fucking quick. You can take, you know, three or four pulls off of it, and your fucking RDA is hot as hell. Like right now, it is super, super fucking warm. Um, yeah, man. But uh, other than that, um, really can't think of any other cons. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, you know, the 510 is perfect, works great, um, it squonks beautifully. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else I can complain about on this. Just that air control sleeve. I wish it was a little bit thinner and, excuse me, and it does get hot as fuck. But that's about it, you know, um, it is a great vape, it's a flavorful vape, um, it will produce the clouds, but like I said, in my opinion, this is a flavor chasing RDA. Fucking delicious, man. Uh, it's definitely a great one if you collect Pulse products or Tony B products, this is definitely one you want in the collection. I've got quite a bit of uh, Tony B's products uh, uh, right now, and um, you know, I just everything he makes is uh, is always great. You know, the only thing I really didn't care for was the Pulse One RDA, but it still was a great RDA. Anyway, um, you can find this RDA pretty much any website you go to. Um, I believe the Pulse X RDA is, is everywhere. It's around the $30, $35 mark. Um, you know, pretty much typical price for an RDA of this uh, quality. Um, so yeah, man, go pick you one up if you ain't got one. It's definitely a great RDA to have in the collection. So yeah, that's really uh, all I got for you. Um, hopefully this video helps somebody else, you know, get off the fucking cigarettes and get to vaping. Um, I definitely, I definitely hope uh, more and more people in the near future start vaping and get off the fucking cancer sticks. So yeah, that's uh, really all I got for you. Thank you very much. Hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe if you like it and you want more. I do have a few more things uh, to review that I'm going to get up here, here in the near future. So, uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. So, B-Man Vapor signing out, y'all. Keep on vaping.